using the right hitboxes that Cloud has to really continue those team combos. And his his solutions to get out of most problems or traps that Cloud typically faces are probably the most creative I've ever seen of any Cloud, honestly. So did you see how he started off the match there? Yeah. Illusion right to ledge. Because he, he wanted that positioning almost immediately. And, and with a team like this, Light is actually one of the few Foxes I say kid that can really capitalize off of team combos very well. Bankai, Zero Suit, all you had to do, honey, was just reach out to the ledge, but she couldn't yeah, do it. it. <laughs> Zero Suit actually, um, in terms of Magnet Hands, Zero Suits are actually a little bit weaker kind of suck. <laughs> yeah. In a game where Magnet Hands are really good, Zero Suits are really eh. Now, I'm very, I'm very impressed that Bankai is playing Zero Suit because normally in doubles he does not choose Zero Suit. He chooses no, who does Lucina usually, from okay. what I've seen at least. I don't know if he typically, but from my knowledge, that's the carry picks the most. That was the slowest combo. He did the slowest forwarder to drag him down. <laughs> he missed the tech volley, and Light still had time to down smash him at the end. Well, Bankai confirming a nice little back air to take Light's stock. It's always so hard to, to get these stocks at this high level of play, and so you want to see as many of those like stray hit back airs, stray hit back airs from Fox as well, yes. to take those stocks. That's what you're looking for. And, and to, to note off of that, it seems that these two teams have very definitive roles. Uh, Ralphie's playing support. Light plays more as the aggressor and more of a disruptive character. Fox can get to his teammates super quickly, bail him out when he's having issues, uh, just run in there and disrupt with up smash. I'd say the same for Bankai as well. Not, I'd, I'd say, actually, it's not as strong as Fox's disruption. Ooh, unfortunately. Oh, wow, okay, everyone's just dying off the side there. But yeah, Zero Suit's disruptions aren't as lethal, in my opinion, as she is it too quick? And her hitboxes really facilitate more of a 1v1 type uh, scenario. But MGW is doing a really considerable job of playing the support right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think in general what you were saying about Light is a good point. With Fox, he does have that ability to just kind of be annoying yeah, in your face. Like, it's like your little brother punching you constantly as you're <laughs> trying to play a video game. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a kill but for me. The other thing about Light specifically is his target switching. Mm -hmm. It makes that... Oh, wow! Oh, he's fine. He's good. He lived. That was almost really dirty. Bankai, I guess, had a jump? Or he just it wasn't at the percentage where that would drag him down quickly enough? I'm not too sure. MGW not getting that backer off stage. And uh, one thing to note here is Ralphie and Light's positioning. They are they are never always on top of each other. You can tell with a lot of inexperienced doubles player or less experienced doubles players that they will be just trying to get those hits in. If a team combo comes, it'll come and they'll just press the A or the B button to try and hit them. Yeah. But Ralphie and Light are consistently in the position to facilitate these team combos. Mm -hmm. They are never on top of each other unless they need to be, which is why like they're always setting up for the next move, which I think is critical in doubles. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Their, their positional advantage, especially in terms of confirming these combos, it, it's genius. Almost. Yeah, seriously. Like, it, it's like watching art. You can, you can be a great singles player. You can be, like, Bankai is an amazing Smash player. He's, he's won a few Xenos, but you need to have the awareness in doubles to be a good doubles player. Yeah, absolutely. That's why some players thrive more in doubles than they do in singles, because they, they just have a better game sense. No, no, they, um, they thrive off of that doubles chaos. Yeah, absolutely. Doubles is, in general, where you see people's ability to, to look at situations. Yeah. It either crumble or absolutely shine. Yeah. And you, can, you can think. It'll test definitely your critical quick thinking skills. Yeah, yeah for you, sure. You really have to do not only what's best for your team, but what's best for your teammate as well. You can't put them in a compromise position. That was nutty and the light taunt going out, of course. That's yeah. a great start right there for the green team, though. Already knocking off those first two stocks. I believe this is best of five since this is a monthly. Mm -hmm. uh, Devin nodding his head. Thank you, Devin, for nodding your head. Because <laughs> some streamers will just stand there stoically looking at the screen, and I'll be like, uh, uh, uh. I think this is best of five or best of three. <laughs> Might be best of seven. <laughs> uh, best of one. <laughs> um, but yeah, so into this counter pick, Smashville uh, was the look. Um, kind of your standard stage. I don't think it benefits any of these characters way too much. And I think here, more than anything, you can kind of see where Zero Suit really struggles in doubles. Uh, her, one of her pretty much only reliable, like, confirms is getting that ladder combo off. Otherwise, everything else is basically just stray hits here and there, and all her moves are, all her air, most of her aerials, most if not of all her aerials, are landing aerials, meaning they'll, pr they're pretty much best utilized when you're jumping to the ground. And in doubles, you don't exactly have time to just do a an, an empty hop forward and try to get that hit in. You have to be able to hit quickly, consistently, and not have to set up into anything. That's why a lot of, uh, like, Cloud is amazing because he doesn't have to set up for anything. He can just get that one hit and you can just take it as far as you 
you want with yeah, your teammate. Yeah, absolutely. Cloud is kind of, um, I guess the exact, like the polar opposite of Zero Suit's aerials um, in that regard would be like Lucina, where she yeah. always wants to rise with forward air, rise with back air, or like scout out air dodges. Wow. It's it's the purpose of said aerial, right? Mm -hmm. Because Cloud, Cloud has these very safe aerials that have gigantic hitboxes that can just span a wide distance that'll just facilitate these team combos. Zero Suit's intentions are just knock them up. Knock them up and keep them going up. And, yeah, absolutely. And the stunning lack of horizontal knockback moves at her disposal really hinders her in teams because the horizontal knockback is is so good in doubles. Yeah. That's that's how team combos are, are born. Otherwise, you're just going to be getting these vertical team combos. You, watch, those setup. you watch Cloud with back air and yeah, Nair especially. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. It's so good. Those horizontal knockback moves are so good. And like Zero Suit has back air. Even his throws, too. His throws are perfect for, for facilitating. Cloud, back is, throw, Cloud is made for, forward throw. He's made made for doubles. He's made for doubles. Sakurai was like... You will be the child of doubles. <laughs> he just like blesses him. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, so we uh, we see MGW going Rob. Um, this is definitely his most recent character he's added into. I've definitely I've played his uh, Rob and doubles before. He he has a very unorthodox character pool of Greninja, Alomar, and Rob. I, I've I've never seen yeah, anyone no. with that interesting of a character pool, and all of them are very impressively skilled. That's so. like your local Wi-Fi player <laughs> who who goes like one and two, but that's not the case for MGW. He's clearly a proficient player. Um, Though that Greninja perhaps not working out in a setting like this. Yeah. Um, now he's going to dip into his character pool and perhaps pull out the Rob for a good win on FD. Let's see here for the blue team. And already you can see the kind of paying dividends. I like just the pure nature of Rob enables him to stand back. He is supposed to be standing back, shooting his lasers, firing off his gyros, using that forward, forward air to keep opponents out of his face. He doesn't want anybody super close to him. And I think I think that works beautifully in this scenario because as you can see before, Bankai and MGW were a little bit on top of each other when he was going Greninja. So seeing him take a more reserved approach is going to pay a lot of dividends for them. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you think about it, Bankai especially, but Zero Suit in general, is a very aggressive character. She wants to get in her face. She wants to hit you with back air. Right. And in doubles especially, wants to hit you with back air. Can't space with Zare. And so he's going to be in this zone that Rob doesn't want to be in. Right. And that makes it a really good team comp. However, Light Yikes. going to get that up smash, though not going over to It's even, though. Healthy. Oh, no, it's yeah. not. I can't count. Sorry. <laughs> um, I mentioned I failed pre-K math. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't even know how you failed pre-K math. I don't know, man. I don't think you, you even do math at pre-K. I'm pretty sure you just I just played with blocks the whole time. Played with blocks, Ooh. ate some glue. It would have been a w ate some glue. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I don't know about so you. In bracket, dude, sometimes you go from Galaxy Brain to Crown Eater in just two <laughs> easy steps. Um, so this is, OK. Luckily, MGW was able to get down, which is very nice. I like that Ralphie is taking the, like, there's oh, a, no. oh, OK. You, you didn't need to do it, dude. You, you didn't need to go down there and lucky Luciano and be like, you know I had to do it. So you could have just stayed on stage. He was dead. He ran out of gas. My boy didn't stop at BP before bracket. So it wasn't good. Yeah, he wanted to look at the petrol, but he didn't. He got that. <laughs> Try to get that premium. He's like, am I, am I Octane or am I, am I the Ultra type? Yeah. Who even purchases that type of guess? I want to know. What is it like? Sports cars? Yeah, that it's type of guess? Okay, I figured. Oh, so unnecessary, man. Ralphie going for up air, forward air, up air. Get oh my god. Back down into the stage, and he's going for it again. This Bankai. is just looking like a clinic for Green Team. Yeah, they're really just smothering them like a ton right now. Oh, okay. Oh, Everyone oh, got oh. hit by the fair. Everyone literally got connected. That was the most satisfying fair sound effect I've ever heard. And now this is looking a bit more promising for the blue team. This is kind of harrowing for MGW, though. He's kind of stuck in the middle here. And a, a lot of, I think, what green team was really thriving off of was the disadvantage state of the blue team. You notice that Rob has a very poor disadvantage state. But Bankai notably kept air dodging off stage and light hit him with... He was almost perfect in accuracy with uh, those uh, fares. This is... Uh, Looking pretty donezo. Yep, there we go. Alfie yeah. Light taking 3 over Bankai and MGW. But honestly, not a bad showing that last game. They brought it down to last stocks. It was looking good. Definitely a good doubles run from these guys. That was, yeah, that was the longest time it ever took for that fist bump. <laughs> Has not a me. They just kind of sat there. They're like, so we lost. Oh, it's time to get up? All right. All right I have. <laughs> uh, that was fun. <laughs> but so at the end of that match, you saw um, 